In this video, we'll be going over study options. Now, all studies will have an options tab as the last tab when you create or modify its settings. And this tab will contain different values if it's an overlay or a study plot. So let's try the overlay first. Let's bring up, again, the simple moving average. Here's the options tab. Now let's take a look at some of the settings. So if we start with graph, at the moment our only option is the price graph. However, if we had a separate plotted graph underneath here, we can then apply the simple moving average to that graph as well. And I'll show you that in a minute. Visibility, in this case, I want it to apply to all charts of all time frames. So we'll leave it at all. If I wanted to change that, of course, I can go ahead and make the changes. So we'll leave that at all. The bar size, at the moment, it's using the chart bar size. So the calculations will, will be based on the bar size of the chart. In this case, it's daily. Okay. Right now we have show legend. So if we create, now let me bring it back up. You'll see the legend is here in the top left hand corner. Let's take a look at some of the other options. If I select show values in the legend and click apply, I will now see the current value which corresponds to the indicator here on the vertical axis. Bar updates, by default all studies will calculate to the last closed bar and you'll notice here on the chart that the study stops one bar short of the current bar. And that's because this daily bar has not closed yet. Okay, now if we click bar updates, it'll update on every tick. So if we click apply, you'll now see that it's aligned with the current bar. And this will update with every tick. Okay, underlay. Right now you'll notice up here in this section that the study is actually on top of the candlesticks. But if I were to select Underlay and then click Apply, you'll notice now that the line, this red candle here, is actually behind the bar as an underlay. So if I were to take that off and click Apply, you'll now see that it's back on top. Use real values for the most part. Uh, you'll never use this. This is more for uh, nonlinear bars such as Renko, uh, where you do need to keep uh, all the values in order for the calculation. Okay, so let's just click Update. And now let's bring up the MACD. And let's take a look at the separate study plot options. We'll go over to Options. Now you'll notice here that we also have the price graph available. So if I click on Price Graph, it will actually plot it on the graph. Let's just take a look at what that looks like here. Typically these type of plots you'd want to place them as a separate graph. Okay again here we have visibility. I will leave it to all. A bar size I will leave it to the current bar size. Here we have the option to select a separate instrument for the calculations. Right now we have use a chart instrument, which is Apple. But if I actually wanted to plot uh, the MACD for, let's say, Microsoft, I can actually do that. Hit Enter. And it will plot the MACD for Microsoft. Um, so let's just try that. You'll notice now it's a new graph. And you'll see here it says Microsoft. OK. so. I want to use a chart instrument. Let's hit apply. And now it's back to app. Okay. Show values in legend. We've gone through that. We've gone through bar updates. We've gone through real values. Now inverted will actually mirror this the actual plot here. So these lows now will become the highs. It will actually invert the study. You'll see here that it's inverted. And if we go back. and now goes back. Now top inset and bottom inset, that controls the spacing. 
uh, between the graph top and bottom border of where the actual plot begins. So if I increase these values to 10 and 10 and click apply, you'll notice now I have more spacing here. Okay, and if I want to see this as defaults, again, I can hit save defaults. So moving forward, anytime I plot the MACD, I, these will be my defaults. So let's click update. Let's actually make this more visible. Now let's go back to the simple moving average. Go to the options. You'll see now that I have another option now under graph. The MACD plot becomes available to me. And if I wanted to plot a simple moving average of the MACD values, I can click apply. And it's plotted. Now let me change the color. So it's easier to see. And there we go. Okay, so that's it for study options. And we'll see you in the next video.